Hi guys, getting ready to go for another ride here on my walkie. I uh, want to talk about a couple things before I take off. Uh, I think there's a little, been a little bit of confusion about the seat and what I've been doing with it. I pit, end up going with a Cloud 9. I've tried a few different seats now. And I, I want to say this. The post that comes with the bike is one of those flip posts that you got to pull that lever up and take out. I had no end of trouble trying to find a seat that I liked that would actually work with that. You're very limited to what seats you can get. So right off the get, I decided I'm getting rid of that. Plus, I needed more suspension anyhow. So I went with the suspension post, which, yes, it does raise your seat up a little bit more. But when, as soon as you sit on it, it goes down to about where you are normally anyhow. So... Yeah, I know a lot of you are probably worried about, well, if I get rid of, you know, the, the flip-up seat, then it's going to be hard to get my battery out, right? Well, not really, because all you got to do is grab a hold of this, you open that, and look, that's how fast, that's how fast you can get to your battery. So that flip thing, which when I had it, was constantly fighting with trying to get the lever right, to be able to push it the right way to get the seat to go up. This is a lot quicker just to do this and then when you're putting it back on it's the same deal you put it back on you line it up where you want it you press it in you're done you're ready to go so if you do this if you end up getting rid of that i'm not saying you have to but if you do then you can go with any seat you want to go with because then you don't have to worry about whether uh you're going to be able to get that latch up and down or not. I'm going to straighten mine up here just a tad. So that's something I wanted to go over there. The other issue I've ran into is with the brakes. Okay, these brakes squeak horribly. The ones that come with the bike are the, uh, I'm trying to remember what they're called now. But I'll, I'll put a picture up. There's three types of brakes that fit these DIY Island uh, calipers. It's centered. That's the ones that come with is the centered. And they last the longest. They work the best for situations where, like if you're mountain biking or you have a heavy bike and you're going over a lot of hills. I have a heavy bike and I go over a lot of hills. So you'd think these would be great, but these take forever to break in and sometimes they don't break in. And that's a problem I'm running into with mine. So I picked up another set i went on there and i was going to pick up the medium set which they just call metal but it's actually it's a metal mix and i was going to try those out well on amazon you can't get them right now they're gone so i end up going with the just basic set the red and i actually started doing a video of putting them on but they're slightly wider the metal slightly wider so they don't fit over this particular rotor um, so I wanted to warn you about that even though they fit in here even though they fit in the caliper They won't go over your rotor. It's a little too wide. So don't go with the red ones At least that's what I've ran into you can go to the DIY Island website I can actually put a link on that too in the description and Pick up the just regular metal set. It's going to cost you ten dollars more because you got to pay for shipping through them They charge a dollar less for the brake pads but then they charge you $10 for shipping. But if you have an Amazon account, um, well, I have Amazon Prime, so I get free shipping. So that, that's the only difference. I may end up still buying them from them if they don't end up showing back up on Amazon again. But I'll put a link to the both types that are on there, and they're hard to find. You've got to actually search for the DY Island. Uh, this is the 600, I can't remember the actual number on this, on these particular ones. But I'll put a link to them on there so if you guys decide you want to try to change your brake pads off so for a while you're going to hear me squeaking some more here to decide what to do about it i thought i was going to put different pads on it but the pads i got don't work <laughs> so i'm just going to try to break these in so that's basically the couple things i wanted to cover right off the get uh the cloud nine seat so far i love it i've only been on one ride with it my daughter has one too she loves hers my son-in-law has one also so we've all went to these cloud nines they have a lot more cushion in them plus they have the spring suspension if you get this type they have the other type too that doesn't have the long springs um, i got the ones with springs because i decided i was going to try to ride a little higher 
for my leg extension, which has been great. Uh, it takes a little getting used to it, put your tiptoes down, but uh, you know, as far as riding, it's more comfortable. So we're gonna get ready to take off here, guys. I'm going to uh, get my camera set. Turned on here and start recording. I got a particular area I want to go to. Come on. There it goes. That uh, is really beautiful. This is a beautiful sunny day. It's hot though. And it's going to be hot all week. So I want to get out and do this before it gets too bad. Um, you know, it's about noon now. It's probably about the worst time to come out because it's sunny. But I feel, figure it's not going to be too bad riding on a day when you're on a bicycle because you're going to have wind hitting you things of that sort we'll put that to the test and find out anyhow guys i'm gonna get this thing going here i already got my seat hot i'm in shorts and i'm in uh you know some heavy duty um sandals with socks you know i'm so it don't you know it looks a little funny but um my feet won't be sliding around in the sandals so we're going to give it a try let you know how this works out i do have to lean the bike a little bit to take off bye, bye. Love, you. love you bye buddy bye. love you guys tell ash i'm sorry wish she could go with me my daughter's sick she can't go today so here we go see you guys well this is only my second time riding since the stroke. I told myself I ain't talking about that dumb stroke no more. Hopefully that's past, past me and gone. All right. This thing just pulls right up this hill, man. It's awesome. Uh-oh. Car, car coming though. Okay. All right. Did have to stop. So I had to take off from a dead stop on that hill, which wasn't so great, guys. <laughs> All right. I get used to this riding a little bit again. It's been a while. Since my last ride, even. So I'm sorry about the brakes. We have to put up with them. We're going to keep trying to break them in. Let me get my camera set properly. Which I'm never sure about. Let's see how that does. Right. Normally I pedal this hill. Sixth gear. See how it does this time. It's gonna casually pedal. If you get the pedaling right on this bike, man, you can climb almost any hill. This is 11.1 .1 degree hill. Which I look 
flipped it up. I think that means it's around 20%. 20% grade. Now this, I have been up on a steeper one. It's a 16 degree. And with this blanket, it pulls it up no problem. So I got it shifted down to fourth right now. Might have to go a little lower, we'll see here. And I'm just casually pedaling. Around nine mile an hour. Now I have throttled up this hill. It goes up about between seven and eight mile an hour, just throttling. I'm giving it a little bit of help here. An all wheel drive, of course. It's difficult to get up this hill and just rear on this bike because this bike's so heavy. up here. taking that thing anywhere because the gas prices. So it's just sitting there now, making payments on it every month. 
that my hands already hurt. Did a video review of putting together porch swing. And I tried to show in the video how you can do it with the tools they provide. Wow. My finger's been hurting for like three days now. <laughs> don't recommend using the tools they provide. Get you a drill, put a bit in the drill, get you a real wrench to hold the other side. Not that little thin thing they give you, you gotta keep fumbling trying to hold the nut. But it can be done just by using the cheap tools. guys like flying drones and did a couple drone videos too first time we ever tried flying them so they're a little bit funny but it is fun to do picked it up a long time ago thinking maybe I'd use it places we stop while, while e-biking I may do that I don't know but I don't want to you know fringe on people's privacy and stuff like that either so it's kind of a fine line Maybe if I go out to my parents or something, I'll fly it out there. They got quite a bit of room. so thick in here it's really dark put my headlight on okay got it on I think put, put it on not to see I put it on so people can see me Take you back this one back road guys where it's just a beautiful S shape through the woods. And I can only imagine what it looks like right now. I took you through it earlier in the year when there was no leaves on the trees. coming up very nicely if you guys can hear that sounds like bubbles popping it's a tire hitting tar on the road just getting real hot curious how these tires gonna hold up we'll find out okay I, I have noticed this is something else I've been what is this oh you know what that's not the way I wanted to go Hey, I'm not going that long route today. I just realized where I'm at. That is a beautiful path that way too, but that's a really steep hill right there. But I had in mind to go this other way, so 
gonna go this way today. We'll go that other way another day. fence about getting an e-bike you don't even have to get this brand it's just a lot of fun it's great exercise it gets you back out here in nature smelling some fresh air just a lot of fun you don't have to kill yourself pedaling but you can if you want to you get all the exercise you want coming up on these woods guys Can't wait to see what it looks like hopefully it's not too dark See the sun from the trees. I hope you guys are seeing it. The cameras are doing it justice. It's like a cabin here on the left. A couple cabins. This is beautiful. Wow. Someone must have built a home up there. I didn't know that was there. Cameras did that justice. That was just beautiful.
the hero coming up here from picking up a pedal assist. actually quite enough. If that has anything to do with the temperature. If I lay off the back for brakes, I don't get any squeak. Just you know, a little bit of back brake at first. And then primarily use the front when I'm getting closer to stop. So I'm supposed to use them anyhow, I think. I had a question about uh, why I point the nose of my seat down so far and I do I point it down a little bit and I may raise it some but right now I'm mainly doing it to keep it off my prostate and off my man parts because I do have some prostate problems once I get more used to it I may raise it up a little bit so I don't you know, slide forward as much I'm not sliding too bad right now but there is a little bit going on Suspension post, I've, I've been able to use this now for a few times. I really like it. There's a lot better ones out there, guys, but for the price, this ain't bad. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Cloud nine seat, so far pretty happy with it. My right butt cheek hurts a little bit, but it's going to happen with any new seat you put on. And I have, I've only ridden one other time on a short ride so far, so... I don't have my muscles properly you know, built up for this yet. So I'm going to try to be within reason here since I'm getting back from the stroke. As far as the distance of trips I take, this one's a little bit farther than the last. Next one will be a little bit farther. As long as I feel okay afterwards. Smells wonderful.
Genesis 3, 6 gear, just casually pedaling. Legs are getting a bit sore. I haven't ridden, haven't ridden much for a while, so it takes a little getting used to. Uh, put my lights on again here. That nice little headlight light shows up on your dash, so you know your lights are on. Don't know where they're pointing right now. Haven't checked them in a while, but this car should be able to see it. Beautiful. Well, something took off behind me. Break. Get to bed them things in better here. Keep working on them. Shoo, something stinks. Dead animal somewhere. Video the other day where he took his uh, e bike up the tallest or the steepest grade around him. It turned out to be, I think it was 32 or 33 percent, something like that. Pretty steep. I looked that up, I think it's uh, 18 degree. Down there somewhere like that, 18 point something degree. This hill is not that steep, but it's really close. This is a 16. I measured this with my app. It was 16 deg uh, degree. So percentage wise, I'm not exactly sure what that is. I think that's close to 30, isn't it? There's a 20. Uh, you guys can let me know. But we're gonna see how this bike does it. I've actually went up this hill just throttling. It got down to about four or five mile an hour, but it made it. We're just lightly, gradually pedal. Groundhog just got hit. Uh, I'm gonna try it and pedal assist three. Instead of five this time. Just to show what this bike can or cannot do. I have not tried this in three yet. This is really steep. side of the stop sign here. This is the notorious Dill Hill. Our coaches in football used to make us run up this hill and track. <clears throat> a little bit of a horse going on in my throat here guys. Not sure why.
20 mile an hour, I'm in fourth gear. And I'm making it right now. Pedal assist three. <laughs> I can't remember which bike he was riding, but this is the Walk EH9, guys. 16 degree hill. Like it was nothing. I mean, I'm not breaking a sweat. And actually, I throttled all the way up this one. Went about four or five mile an hour, just throttling. And this, I just gave it a light pedal. Walk EH9, very powerful e bike. I'm 234 pounds right now. taking anything away from his bike that he was riding because it's a good bike it's a fast bike too faster than this one i believe and you saw this one went up, went up to almost 36 mile an hour it had been 35.9 with me on at 234 pounds on the straightaway If that bike he had it's all wheel drive or not anyhow i love his videos it's one of the things that got, got me started that's how i found out about this bike and other e-bikes we're watching his videos so props to him guys I've taken up that before but not when it's nice and green like this I'll come this route another time with my daughter probably and go on a little longer trip and we'll go that ways there's a lot of places we haven't went yet now I just got to build my body back up to be able to do it into when I go back to just doing rear wheel drive. <laughs> right now I 
need the bike's help a little bit. A lot. Beautiful. Beautiful. Birds are chirping. Let me know about the food thing. I think we also had that same issue where it just seems like you're doing nothing but spending money on food. I don't even eat as much as I used to. We're a family of four. There was one week I spent $220. We had like nothing in the fridge. <laughs> I can remember when we spent about that much for the month. paper and juice and things like that cat litter stuff like that hundred ten dollars every time <laughs> I think we get pizza rolls or something it's getting ridiculous I hope it ends soon I have coupon codes for it to save you 50 or $60 depending on the bike. The Walkie doesn't have that type of, of a deal, but they do have that one particular coupon code you can get from my links that saves you $200. It's the same one that everybody has. It's nothing new. <clears throat> These e-bikes right now are right, right around the lowest price they've been. Don't forget to click on my Amazon, any one of my Amazon links before you shop Amazon. Doesn't matter what you buy. Helps us out considerably. Especially the way the prices are right now. Doesn't cost you anything extra. Just click my link first and go and shop on Amazon like you normally would. Buy whatever you're going to buy. Just go to my homepage, go to my community tab. I have a post in there that talks about all products I like and Amazon's right on top. Just click that link first and go shopping. Helps the brother out. Helps his family out. Helps buy groceries. Not much of a beggar, but it's starting to become one now, the way prices are. Alright, we're going to 
go fast. for the ride yeah, there's a few of you out there that enjoy my videos I enjoy riding sure do here we go Nice and cool, whole ride. I don't know if I broke a sweat. There's my camper. It's dirty right now. I'll come out and clean that here. My squeaky brakes. Strawberry patch. Got some berries to be picked here, it looks like. Kick my bag every time I get off of that. The only problem is putting the bag on the back. Here, let's get this in the sun. Let you guys take another look at it. There she is, guys. That's the Walkie H9 all wheel drive. Beautiful summer day. It was a nice ride. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't let the kids finish off the video. All right, guys, I just want to show you how quick and simple it is. I pulled the key out, right? Flip this lever, bam. Seat's out of the way. Battery's out. You see why I got rid of that stupid flip post? It takes longer to mess around with that handle than what it does to do what I just did. You know, if you, if you choose, you want to keep it on, that's fine, guys. But I just wanted to give you a, a different option. This way, you can put any seat on you want to put on. You know, you don't have to worry about, you know, that dumb thing back there. Because only certain seats will work with that, that little thumb thing it has to pick up in the back of there on that other post. I picked this one up. It's fairly inexpensive. It's nice. It goes up and down with it. Plus, my seat goes up and down, too. That's another reason why it's kind of pointed forward. Because when you sit on it, it does go down some. And, not to mention, when you put it in, in here, you see how it levels out? Because this is angled, so the seat levels out. That's another reason why it looks like it's really pointed down when it's just on the post. But what fact is it goes in something like that. So that's my reasoning. That's why I do things that I do. I hope I don't offend you, but I'm just letting you know that's how I do it. And if it helps you, great. 
If it doesn't, then do it your own way, because that's the way we should do things, is the way we want to do them, right? All right, guys, thanks. Bye. Oh, I... You ready, sir? Yeah. What do we say? Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and hit that, hit that notification bell. Hit that notification bell.